Welcome to Hampshire College, a small liberal arts school with a real independent streak and a radical self-determined curriculum. Students love it here, but there's one problem. They're strapped for cash. Instead of closing Hampshire College, which for the record was never on the table, we're doing what Hampshire students are known for, creating innovative solutions and alternative methods to raising funds. So, in classic Hampshire fashion, the students have rallied, and it looks like they have set up some sort of donation hotline calling the alumni. So, tell me, what kind of things turn you on? Uh, ooh, cookies, huh? Would you like to see a cookie on my nipples? You know, would like eat, like to eat them off of me? Welcome to Whispers of Hampshire, the Pioneer Valley's number one phone sex line. This is Crystal speaking. Oh, I'm, I'm happy to help. Um, that's why when proposed the idea to the board, I was just like, of course, immediately. You may want to frame the shot against that there. Um, th what camera is this? Uh, one of the 4K Panasonics? Uh, it's not 4K. It's just an HD camcorder. Uh, that's okay. Uh, some of my best, um, some, I mean, some of the best uh, documentaries do, uh, were, were made do with low budget. So I would imagine, uh, what was the question again? Uh, what made you propose a phone sex line? Uh, right. Well, I thought to myself, uh, what always sells? Sex. That and along historical documentaries, but that's a separate project. What sexual fantasy would make you feel safe and empowered? I'm afraid we can't do that. You see, the boss secretary fantasy, it's just, it reproduces misogynist, chauvinist, capitalist dynamics and in the words of renowned film theorist and feminist activist Susan Sontag, rules of taste and four structures of power. Well, perhaps we could just uh, start by engaging a few important questions. What was your first memory of your mother? Hello students, can I have your attention for a second? Thank you. I just first want to say I'm so grateful and appreciate all the time and dedication you've given to us helping fundraise for our school, but I have heard from our patrons that they would like more sexual gratification and maybe a little less political theorizing if you hear what I'm saying. Wait, how are we supposed to engage in sexual activity without first discussing the socio-political implications of it? I mean, we don't want to conform to the heteronormative implications of own sex. I hear you, I completely understand, but at the end of the day we're trying to fundraise to save our school and this is a phone sex line, not a Marxist hotline. More sexy, more sexy. I know. Yes. Our bodies meld together as we partake in this spiritual activity of intercourse. We feel like we are transported back to the womb, our amniotic fluid melding, mixing. I feel as though we are one. As I hold my partner, I feel our atmas merging in the eternal Brahmin soup. I feel like a crystal butt frog is in my
All right. Same shit as last time. You guys did uh, epic. Same shit as last time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, I really haven't done this in a long time. <laughs> You got me. Can we just hey, you have a little pock pock? Can you move your head? Pee pee buttholes. Okay, we booby. need to right <laughs> right <laughs> I can't see you. We're just gonna. <laughs> you can't. You can't lose it. You can't lose it, guys.